MTD are at DMG Maury's open house in Fronton. It's 2024. Paul and I are going to take you on a tour. So where should we begin? Uh, we'll start over here, Lindsay. This is the uh, one of the new innovations that's here. There's, there's, there's always many. Is this new PH cell, um, the PH cell 500 actually, or the 5, uh, 500 is the new um, cell that's here. But this is the PH cell twin. Now, what I like about this, and what probably the reason we started here, is the fact you've got two machines being fed by one automation cell. And they're two different machines as well. So That's you've got, a, cool. you've got a horizontal machine in the center. If we, if we look in here, horizontal five axis machine. Oh, look, look, uh, look, look. Let's have a look at that. What's that doing? That is uh, brushing his teeth. And I forgot my it's toothbrush. It's a little shark. So, uh, I forgot my toothbrush, so I shall come back here later and I shall make the best use of that. Yes, but the other machine it's feeding is a five axis machine. I want to then take you over to here. There's quite a few uh, people in the crowd here. And the reason being- You go, you go. That this CTX machine is uh, doing a, a U-drone operation, it's about 400 mil in length, or just under 400 mil in length. We've got some GoPro footage of it, which we'll put on uh, YouTube as well. And it does it in about 45 seconds. Um, it's really, really impressive to see. Sometimes you come to these open houses and you don't see machines actually cutting, but that was actually happening. Um, so really, really uh, exciting. Have you seen anything like that see. before, Paul? Yeah, yeah, I have seen stuff like that before, but it's great to see it here at an open house, and it's great to see um, you know, people really try and push the boundaries of what machines are capable of rather yes. than kind of not, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Love this, this yeah. one here. Now what's really cool is the size of this, like the clearance that you get and the fact that you can put larger tools in there as yeah, well. Yeah, I, I do love this style of machine, the configuration. I like the, the small compact head, which essentially okay. means, yeah, I mean, it moves so quickly. You can see it, it's really nimble. But if you're looking at maybe doing, or trying to get as much working area by having a head that's compact Smaller, like that, even yeah. when it's turned on its uh, on its side, it doesn't intrude so much to the right-hand side of the machine. So and you've you got more flexibility in, and in space. And tools. And this is another example of that. Tiny. I mean, this, this here, um, this is the MTX 500. This, I think, was new at the open house last year or Emo, I can't remember which, but again, a really, um, you know, when you look at this machine, multitasking machine, a very small head, uh, ideal for you know those intricate parts, complex components, and it's a very small footprint, uh, you know, of a machine. And you've got a tool changer here to the left here, so it's very good for the operator. Access is easy, but again, having this just here, uh, obviously the, the kind of controls that we see here, the um, uh, so sell-off control, and then automation, which is feeding it, which is actually in action. So um, it's so futuristic. This loads to see, by the way. This is a really cool demo. But there's a DMU40 there, which is a five-axis machine. And that's uh, actually one of their smallest five-axis machining centers. I think what you do notice, and you'll see from this tour, or if you came here, is the contrast from very small machines right the way up to, you know, what we see here. And this is a DMU 100 FDS. Can you have a look at this? Look at the work holding on this as well. The yeah. size, and that's what's interesting. I'm not seeing that because you see the large components here, yeah. but then actually when you... It shows the capabilities of having the smaller components, and even though you've got the table, so you're maximizing the machine. Well, well often what you find with pallet systems is that people do think of them as one part per pallet. So exactly. if you've got 12 or 15 pallets, you might think that's just 12 or 15 parts. But it's, it's not. not, you just need to get engineering creative and you can make something like that. And by the way, that machine, um, it will mill, it will turn, and it will grind like a lot of their multi Let's machines. fly over here. Yeah, you know what I mean. Now that, is a beautiful demonstration, Isn't I've got it? to say. Um, what do you think the runtime of that is? Oh, well, you did tell you, it's actually more. about 70 hours to machine that. But you just look at the detail on it. I mean, I think I've all, I would also say that when you come to open houses, you like to see the hardware and the software, but you like to see, you know, these kind of, you know, nice demonstrations that companies like this put on there's also a um Dinner changer. there's also a, a deer as well isn't there yes oh deer so you had a shark an eagle look at this you can see the deer and the deer the phl 2000 there is their uh, one of their biggest automation solutions let's go this way you know what's kind of cool as well is the fact that you've got the ph cell which is larger but then you've got the smaller ones as well yeah i i, I think this this is really where industry i know we we do a lot more in the UK ourselves, but yeah. we're doing a lot in Europe too now. But certainly um, from a UK perspective, this is where companies are looking to to go to, to be able to put additional pallets on machines to get more yeah. of a, you know, more unmanned running with the skills shortages that, um, you that know what's happen, cool as that well. are, you know, the skills shortages within the industry. Automation is 
you know, one of the uh, machine in transformation, which is the, the messaging here, one, of the, one of the kind of pillars of that. Uh, let's head this way. Just really quickly, there was a VR uh, system over there and you can put a VR system on and it contacts people so they can show you how to fix your machines from afar. And training, it's all to do with training, training as well. Um, making yeah, it's more training, easy, actually. which brings us on to this. I want to stop here quickly, Lindsay, because automation that I was just talking about, nowadays, they want to make it more user-friendly for mm -hmm. operators. So they want to be able for operators to work in conjunction with the automation rather than treating them as a kind of an isolated, um, a, a, you know, an area where you can't actually get in and get involved with with the automation, the way it's, and we'll, we'll see another example of that here, uh, the way it's so close to the machine, but there's no guarding. Yeah, um, well, the cobots as you well. You know, you can access it, for example, here. You can, you can touch you know, pick parts up, put parts down. Uh, whereas previously you'd have to have loaded your parts in, shut the gate, robot would do the job, but now you're kind of much more interactive. Like a merge, engaged. like the, the, the human and the, and the robots are they kind come of merging. Together. Yeah. Um, oh, oh. Now you can, you can tell us about this one. Well, really this like has it. got, right, you've got two spindles. Sorry, Jen, sorry, no, 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 come in. It's two spindles. Uh, the team have already been on camera. Um, and then you've got the four turrets as well. I think, I'm not 100%, but if you've got a longer component, then you can work all of your toys. I'm not 100%, but the fact that you can work on two components, pull one from the other, it's just you, like... You imagine you've got blowing. here such a machine. I mean, you've got a B-axis here on the, on the bottom yes. side as well. So you're able to, to, to uh, machine at angles and do other operations. Mm. But by having four turrets, 12 stations on each turret, I believe it's 12, yeah, 12 stations. Yeah, all driven. 48 tools here, two spindles. You know, the possibilities are really, really endless with a machine. Speed. Of this, of this all I nature. see is the speed. Product, product, production gains and productivity, something like that is... Um, are we, are, is this our limo? And then there's this. Now, <laughs> this is new technology. This is like the AGVs. In fact, we're going to talk yeah, about AGVs in a minute. Um, I could do with actually sitting down. Imagine, yeah. right, with an AGV. So these, not only do you, we talk about automation within the machine, but then externally to the machine, imagine you come in the next day, your swarf bins have physically been moved and emptied, and then you've got all of your fresh components. Lights out running is going to another level with we, this. When we came here last year, every year, sorry, I mean, it seems like a year is uh, not a long time, but actually when you look at what they've developed yes. in a year, it's quite, you know, unbelievable. And every year you come back, there's, you know, two, three, four new innovations. This being another one, the DMF yeah. 400, traveling column five axis machine. The biggest feature on this that I'm going to put across now is that there's a, a more uh, detailed video coming soon that I did yesterday. Um, but this, if you see the head here, you've obviously got, um, oh, wow. you know, a very capable uh, five axis machine. But as you see the, the Y axis, it moves forwards and backwards. It's all done on one casting, so it's not like a ram that's extending. Everything is moving as one piece, which means you get the maximum amount of rigidity you you could ask for on a machine point. of this configuration, which is why if you look at this, this is a, a like a mold tool. Yeah. Right at the end of that mold tool, the closest area to us, you'll get the same surface finish and the same precision as you would at the, you know, if you were machining closer to the back of the machine. I and that's yeah. done just by the, the sheer um, structure of what they've, it's over four, it's four meters. Yeah, in the four meters. Is. I see this. So, is it one table or is it two? That, that's the thing. It's both. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's one table. Is it two size of components? There's so much and, going and on. And actually, to go from what you see there, where you've got two tables, you can take that partition out in about 50 minutes. Yeah. Which you know, that's pretty quick to be able to go from maybe, you know, a structural aerospace component down to, you know, some, some mold tools or some. Uh, some Have you seen parts. enough? Because there is something else that we can check. There's um, loads. This is just part of, it's worth mentioning, this here cell is part of what Lindsay was talking about with the automated vehicle. Yeah. So you've actually got pallets being bought in here by the automated vehicle, and then the robot will pick the parts off the pallets, and then the machine will machine the parts, and then it will obviously take them out of the machine. So you've got not just automation in loading the machine, you've got automation in loading all the, manual all the parts handling. that come to the machine. Yes, so yeah. And behind us as well, they do tours if you come here, but we can't show you that. That's, that's top secret, but you've got to come here to see that. I wanted to, oh, we've been beaten that's to the one. window because I wanted oh. to get the camera in here if you can. Um, if you can. If you can get up there and get the camera in there, it's good to see. This is Thanks, the 210 Thanks, FDS. The now, these machines, you, know, you, you can't go many places and see machines of this size. No. So coming to Fronton, coming here to Deansley Mori, you are able to, to actually see them, see them in action as well. And this, this machine, um, this again will turn, it will mill, 
and it will grind for the machine obviously has to be set up um, in order to, to cope with all of those operations. The INH63 was launched at EMO, there's a video on our channel on that machine too. Um, this monstrous tool changer here, I mean, one of the things with a machine, when you buy a machine, you're always asked, how many tools do you want? How many tools do you think you need? Well, I don't yeah. know at the moment. But actually, if you want loads and loads of tools on a machine, it'll cost you more and it'll take up more space and you probably have to decide that at the start. This is gonna feed the machine with tools so it becomes like a central tool storage. Um, so you don't have to have all the tools in the machine at once. So and many yeah, benefits. I'd say approximately, just by looking at this, approximately, 1,080 tools in about 20 well, meters how, squared. How on earth would you see that? Oh, no, know that? No. Um, I mentioned earlier on about the sizes and the differences in the machines that we've got and what you can see here. Sprint 32. Now this oh. is a small turning center, um, sliding head technology. It just shows that whether it is a five axis machine, you know, we haven't even seen some of the additive machines. No, they're just the behind us. Sonic machines. You know, all of those types of technologies, whether you're um, printing, machining, uh, subtracting, additive, all of those things you can actually come here and see at the uh, PMG Mori Open House. It's definitely very impressive. I feel privileged to be here. Absolutely. Yeah, it's a real privilege to be here amongst lots of people from around the world. This is a two-week event. Last week was um, for the domestic market as well as, I believe, uh, some people from the Far East. And this week is about the UK and other European countries. There's also presentations happening, you know, where they talk about machining transformation, because that's really the message. Yeah. It's about uh, the green uh, sustainability, the, um, uh, you know, being economical, um, keeping down your carbon footprint. And those are all the things that BMG Mori is showing here and working to uh, achieve for their customers.